Hey there, gentlemen. Today I'm diving into a topic that's pretty important for many of us, erectile dysfunction or ED. Specifically, I'll be comparing L-citrulline and L-arginine to see which is the better option for tackling ED. Let's get into it. First off, let's break down what these amino acids do. L-citrulline converts into L-arginine in the body, which then produces nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is crucial because it helps with blood flow. You might think, why not just take L-arginine directly? Well, studies suggest that L-citrulline might actually be more effective because it's more bioavailable. That means it gets converted into L-arginine in multiple areas of the body, making it potentially better at boosting blood flow and helping with ED. Now, while L-citrulline and L-arginine both play a role in improving blood flow, they're not the only game in town. There are FDA-approved medications known as phosphodiesterase type 5 inhibitors, or PDE5 inhibitors. These include well-known names like Viagra, Cialis, Vardenafil, and Stendra. These meds work by increasing blood flow to the penis, similar to how L-citrulline is supposed to work. I, but the big difference is that there's far more scientific evidence supporting the effectiveness and safety of these prescription drugs. If pills aren't your style, there are other options too. For example, Rosparks is a two-in-one sublingual treatment with both sildenafil and tadalafil. It dissolves under your tongue for quick effects. And if you prefer something a bit more fun, Rose Daily Rise Gummies contain 7 milligrams of tadalafil in each fruit-flavoured gummy. So if you're experiencing ED regularly, taking a citrulline supplement could help because it's thought to improve blood flow. Besides ED, L-citrulline might also offer other benefits like supporting heart health and boosting athletic performance. But remember, research on L-citrulline for ED is still somewhat limited. More studies are needed to fully understand its effects. At the end of the day, your best bet is to consult a healthcare provider if you're dealing with ED. They can help determine what's causing your symptoms and suggest a solution that's right for you. And that's a wrap, folks. I hope this clears up the differences between L-citrulline and L-arginine and gives you some useful info on alternatives. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment if you found this helpful. Thanks for watching and take care.